Xin Jingyi announced her research on China's ancient infrastructure preservation. Xin Jingyi, Class 1 Registered Architect, PRC, announced her recent research results on how to develop China's ancient infrastructure preservation. In fact, large scale, fast paced construction is common and popular in Zhejiang, China. Such groundwork has proven to be a successful investment as demand caught up. With a significant focus on sustainability, driven by the demands of clients abroad, all Chinese construction companies reinvest heavily into research and development. Xing Jingyi declared. Colleagues of Traditional Architecture Design Institute of Zhejiang Province recounted that Jing Jingyi put many efforts on the participation of completion of the China Fan Museum, the Lanting Tianxiang Temple Restoration, and the Jiaxing Zhicheng Archaeological Site Park Project, among other historically focused sightseeing destinations, to enhance the visibility and influence of ancient China. These works greatly provide big help on her achievements of these recent years of research. Xing Jingyi stated that Zhejiang province has an abundance of space, and generation after generation could expand westward with only minimal encroachment into sensitive habitats. Throughout every region are thousands of years of cultural relics, ancient buildings, and archaeological sites that need preservation. People should put high emphasis on cultural conservation as citywide infrastructure planning is underway or in the shadow of it throughout smaller villages nearby. It can also bring specific issues to the forefront to help potential partners anticipate how China will approach future development domestically and abroad. Xing Jingyi added. Some official reports on architecture in China pointed out that in recent years there is high demand for experts like Jing Jingyi, Class 1 registered architect, a 2008 graduate of the architecture of Zhejiang University. Therefore, after her contributions to the Grand Canal Restoration Project, reviving portions of the world's longest artificial river, elevating it to a UNESCO World Heritage Site, she is often called upon to consult as cities grow. As the research predicted, there will also more demands for architectures to make frequent trips to the countryside to teach others about conserving and reusing traditional architecture in China nowadays. This research by Jing Jingyi said that the trend in social awareness will inspire others to reimagine how some ancient structures can continue to be used today if being preserved in a correct way. Take wooden architecture as an example. Due to the influence of the land reform period, traditional houses were divided into several parts and distributed to different families. As the residents' standard of living has improved, the traditional wood frame buildings are considered lacking in physical properties such as sound insulation, heat preservation, and fire prevention. Upkeep for the kitchen and bathroom facilities is difficult. In the face of these problems, the residents may arbitrarily demolish cultural relics, not realizing there are solutions. These situations are closely related to the awareness of the protection of ancient buildings. Xing Jingyi stated in her conclusion of the research. To generate an objective and solid conclusion in her research for years, Xing Jingyi referred to her previous work's guidelines for the reuse of Zhejiang Traditional Houses Class Cultural Heritage Buildings, and Diagram. Guidelines for the Protection of Historic Buildings in Zhejiang Province Due to Zhang Jingyi's persistency on ancient infrastructure preservation, this professional research has contributed to publications directed at protecting and utilizing cultural heritage buildings. Awakening the social consensus on the protection of ancient buildings requires the joint participation of multiple influences. Yi explains in her research. To a certain extent, Xing Jingyi's research facilitates the awareness of seeing a way for China's growth to coexist with heritage. As building design and techniques revolving around preservation become commonplace, it is true that tangible hope in modern architecture that reflects the cultural genes passed from generation to generation. Media contact company name, Joyway Corporation contact person, Wendy Hu email, Wendy Hu at joywayfox.com website, joywayfox.com. Disclaimer, there is no offer to sell, no solicitation of an offer to buy, and no recommendation of any security or any other product or service in this article. Moreover, nothing contained in this PR should be construed as a recommendation to buy, sell, or hold any investment or security, or to engage in any investment strategy or transaction. It is your responsibility to determine whether any investment, investment strategy, 
security, or related transaction is appropriate for you based on your investment objectives, financial circumstances, and risk tolerance. Consult your business advisor, attorney, or tax advisor regarding your specific business, legal, or tax situation. For more info, please contact Brand News Project at gmail.com.